what's up guys welcome to my channel and thank you for checking in and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a simple poster design just using gradient maps on Photoshop and I hope it's gonna be fun and if you are new to this channel don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon so with that note let's jump the tutorial Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a work cam and I already created that one 8 by 8 inch. So let's drag and drop this image over here and let's make it a little bigger for that. Go to edit, free transform and holding on shift and alt, let's make it a little bigger, maybe something like this size. Alright, click enter. Let's make a copy, Control J, go to select and go to color range from here. And from here you can choose skin tones and you can control the fuzziness from here. So 100 works best for me. So, all right. Now let's create a layer max. Now select this layer, go to filter, go to filter gallery and from here I'll just go for cut out. Let's yeah, maybe I think I think this looks good to me or or maybe let's Yeah, let's drop down. I think it's better. So click OK. Now let's fill the background color with something like dark color. So we can see this. Now let's go to brush and let's go for particle brush. And you can download this brush from the download link below and select this brush and maybe I'll just go for some color like this or you can change the color anytime so for now I'll just go for this one create a new layer and just add a little touch one more let's change the color a little darker now let's go over here and add a gradient map let's bring it all the way to the top and let's play around with the colors basically it's a darker value and it's the lighter value so let's change the darker value to something like really dark maybe something like this or yeah something like this and let's change the lighter value to maybe something like this or this all right and let's add some color on my tones too less saturated always play around with your colors go extreme and then just start decreasing that's how I like to do it so let's Yeah, maybe something like this. 
All right, now let's add a color lot on top of it. So go over here, uh, go for color lookup, and from here click on load. Same mood lot, click over here and click on load. So see, this lot entirely changed the look of my design. Now here the fun parts begin. Click on new layer, go to brush, and I'm going to use the general press maybe some kind of hard press and let's make it really small and let's go for white color and let's draw some lines and yeah you would did you notice that the color is white and when I start drawing it's yellow because it's under the gradient so see yeah it's it's white but let's put it on under the gradient layer and let's undo it and let's start drawing some details yes oh Uh, I like to create on separate layers because in the future if I don't like it I can just delete the layer so just create a new layer and let's let's add some kind of design so yeah. so yeah play around like what kind of shapes you love I'm just doing some random steps click on layer 4 and let's go over here and let's add some outer glow and I'll just keep everything for default value for now let's change it to 66 and then just keep everything as default and same thing let's add a glow on it too outer glow where is outer glow outer glow all right and same thing on over here too let's add outer glow And let's add, keeps on adding some details. Now let's do some color adjustment. Let's make this a little brighter. Yeah, maybe some around this. 
Alright, and let's change the black. Maybe a little darker. Something like this. Alright, and that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this video. And see you guys in the next video.